All right, so I just bought a sprinter uh, with a no start, no crank condition. Uh, it's got the issue where when you um, turn the key on, the radiator fan goes on to full blast, uh, but you don't get any click, you don't get any um, response from the key turning. So I'm gonna show you what I found here. So this is the ECU. Um, I just opened it up. This is located um, just under the dash to the left of the driver's seat. And um, so immediately when I opened this up, there was some corrosion in here, which I've kind of already scrubbed up a bit with some vinegar. And I was kind of surprised that the previous owner hadn't really inspected this since the ECU is one of the prime culprits. Um, and maybe they did and just didn't know what to do with it, but or didn't spot what I spotted. So I started looking around here and started cleaning up and I noticed something here. I don't know if you noticed this, but there's what appears to be a missing pin there on the top row. So I went and looked at the plug to make sure that there's actually a wire going to that pin. There is. Pulled around the back here, and yes, sure enough, there is metal going to here. So what I'm going to try to do uh, initially is I'm going to try to um, take a uh, pair of needle nose pliers and pull that out of there because if I can I think that'll be maybe the easiest easiest way to do this um, and I'm just gonna try to re-solder a pin on there I'm gonna have to find a donor pin from another uh, another device and then we'll see what we can do okay so I tried pulling on it and it would not budge there so instead what I did is I just clipped it with um, some wire cutters so I've got that there, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around to the other side, and um, I'm just going to drill out, oops, it's right here, drill out that uh, hole there, and um, I will find my donor pin, and then insert it in there, and I think I'll probably just epoxy it in, and uh, then we'll solder it, well we'll probably solder it first to the back here so we don't have added heat when we're inserting it after we get it glued in. We'll solder it on here to this other pin and then get it epoxied in there. All right, so I just drilled that pin out there. I um, used, I think, the smallest bit that I have. I don't have very small bits. I probably could have found a smaller one. But I'm going to uh, epoxy the new pin in there anyways. So um, I think the oversized hole will be just fine. That's our new pin. I am just working right now on getting it down to the right height. I'm pushing on it with a, this punch right here. Okay, so I got it down to a height that I'm happy with now. It's all kind of lined up in there pretty good. And you can see here it's sticking out the back. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to bend this guy over, uh, get it lined up there pretty nice, solder that in there, and then I'm going to uh, probably add some epoxy to the back side of this a little bit. And there is the completed repair. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Looks good there. And then looks pretty good over here too. I just uh, finished adding a little bit of epoxy to the front and the back side of that pinhole. I just used this little dental pick to apply some epoxy in there. And um, probably didn't need it necessarily, but it'll just hopefully give it a little bit more grab just in case it wants to move around at all. So we're gonna go see real quick if this will let the van start. I just plugged this ECU back in with that resoldered pin. I'm gonna try to turn the key on and see what happens here. Uh, that doesn't seem good. We'll see. We freaking have a sprinter that runs. <laughs> oh my god! Caitlin! Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're a legend! <laughs> Day one. <laughs> we got a working sprinter. <laughs> I 
got a sprinter. Let's see what happens if I put it in gear. Yep, it moves. 